2015, the populist right-wing party wins both presidential and parliamentary elections. Since then, it has gotten more foreign press attention. Why is it so interesting now? What's happening there? Well, if you ask me about the, the polarization of the media and the society in Poland, I think if you have a divided or polarized society like in Poland, media also has to take or is often taking sides. So, uh, and that is one of the problems that they have like, they have a different reality now. So there is um, like public TV was always a little bit more to the government side, but now it's just state controlled government positive TV. Is the public TV an exception? Or is there more than one camp of media? There's no solidarity among Polish journalists. The media is deeply divided. Many journalists are extremely politicized, and even in the public media you'll hear people saying, I'm left or right-leaning. If there is no solidarity amongst journalists, is there any at all amongst Polish society? Yes, using social media to mobilize people. But, um, of course, like, there, there is a not-so-small group right of the piss, and they, of course, also do use social media a lot for, like, mobilizing for their marches and, uh, like, like, spreading fake news. Every year, the Independence March takes place. It brings radicalism on the street. Many people fear for the march because of violence. Slogans include Death to the enemies of homeland White Poland God Honor Fatherland The others call them fascists But somewhere in between groups of anti-fascist demonstrators gather They want to show their disagreement on the radical behavior That's why we are here as diverse left representatives of the LGBT community Greens Feminists. This is our march, our idea on independence and what we want to give a testimony about. People do live in their own bubbles, but I also think, I mean, the, like for example, I like that that's a little bit beyond your question, but I think that the point is like if you, for example, compare Poland to Hungary then the situation is much better because like the, the like the oppositional forces and the oppositional oppositional the objective also media is much more vivid which also means that you don't have to live in your bubble because your bubble still has it's it's not black and white but it's like um well it's probably never white but they they have different shadows between gray and black 2019. Poland has a new parliament and is waiting for a presidential election the next year. We will see soon how many of us live in their bubbles.